Hello and welcome back to another OMSI How To and today we are looking at repainting the HH Doppelglenic bus which I believe is the Hamburg bus packet DLC. So we're painting the A330. Now this was requested by Andre and Andre I apologize it's taken so long I have been investigating. So first of all let's go through what problems I found. So if we head over to our common folder and go into OMSI 2, straight down to vehicles, we can type in H and we'll go down to HH Doppelglenic bus. In the texture folder, okay, we've got Warbung 85, uh, 87 and the A330. Now the bus in question has a repaint called GOVB. Now, unfortunately, there's no template with that name. Looking at the CTI file, which determines uh, the template and any extras that you put on with set vars, there is no GOVB. So I got a little bit confused so I'm like, okay, how do I repaint this? So just going through the normal texture folder, I came across this file, VAS underscore A underscore GOVB. So I'm like, okay, maybe that is it. So what I did was I created a file in the SDK folder inside the repaint tool HH Doppel. Now I have put a copy of that inside another folder called default and made another folder called GOVB underscore my repaints. I've copied the templates folder over which is found in the A330 folder along with four RPC files. These are the repaint files uh, for the repaint tool. So, in templates, I opened up three of the files in PaintNet and the order is background first. So that is going to be VAS underscore A underscore BS. On top of that, I placed VAS underscore A underscore MU. Then on top of that one, I placed in the VAS underscore A underscore pop underscore MA. Now with this, I double clicked it, changed it to multiply. Without multiply, you can see you've got no panel lines, but with multiply, they show up. Might not be the pop version, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So on top of that, I've added another layer. This is layer four. So this is gonna be where I will repaint. So I'm gonna to go to shapes, I'm gonna to go to fill mode, and I'm gonna choose a light gray. So on my layer four, I'm just going to do gray line to there and the gray line to there. Now I'm also going to do the back and yeah we'll do the front as well. Now if you haven't used paint net on because you didn't know if you hold control and if you move your mouse wheel up and down, without, before you hold control, you can obviously move the image up. If you point your cursor, let's say the driver's window, hold control and mouse wheel, it will zoom in to where your cursor is and you can zoom out as well holding control. So I'm gonna do the same with the back. So let me just get rid of that to go down here. I can see there's some bits there, but that's basically 
some of the repaint. So I'm going to double click layer 4 and go to multiply and press OK. Now you can see that the colour has gone transparent kind of thing. So you can see all the bits and bobs that were on the, the file pop MA. So that's kind of done. So let me go on to the next color. And I thought I'll just do the standard color that I use for the um, bus copy simulator career mode, which is basically similar to my bus in Scotland, the orange and gray. Yeah, that will do. Okay, and we'll do the front and we'll just go right down to that line there. And then we'll do the back like so. That looks good. And that just needs a little bit of change. So I'll just do that with a line about size 10 maybe. And we'll just go to the edge here, bring that down a bit and just drag it to cover that white like so. Grab the color palettes, pick up that one and then do kind of the same with the gray. So I'll just bring that round, bring that up, bring it to just there. So none of that is covered by the other bit. So just go under the orange there and bring that down to there. Take that up and take that up a bit more and cover that bit. Now that bit's done, change my hardness on my brush and then I can just brush it in. And it's probably an easier way, everyone has their own way of repainting. There's no right or wrong way about it, but if the re if the template has a separate file to show all the um, panels, then obviously, yeah. And I always find that you, with any repaint file, it is best to make a separate layer on top and not go straight for the Oh, here's the repaint texture, load it in and paint on top. Because if you make a mistake, then you've got to do it all over again. Right, so now we need to sort out this with our orange. So I'll just bring it down like so. Perfect. Do I want to add some on there, like a logo? Why not? So let's go to add another layer. I'm not going to multiply that. So let's have a look. Uh, what do I have? logo wise so let's go um ba -ba 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 see my folders omzi uh no not that one let's go back to desktop omzi template uh let's put this one on there uh copy Oh, oh, hang on, let me select all first. Copy and paste. I'll just put that logo just there. And another one just there. It doesn't go with that bus, but it's just for purposes of this video. So, the next thing we need to do is try and get the background, the very first layer to show up through these. Now, if I untick everything, you can see that we have all the details, the lights um, inside and little bits here like the cab, etc. But right now they're being covered over by this, by the actual repaint. So if I go on to pop and go to magic wand and just select Yeah, on the window, press control and select all the little windows. Yeah, not that one. 
So I can right click that. Um, that's going to do the same. I'm going to do all the windows. Um, I don't know about these. Yes, you have to do these as well. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure on that. So if I go to layer 4 and press delete. So I'm going to do that again. Because if I press Ctrl Z, it's going to take. Oh, I haven't done the driver's windows, have I? Oops. Let's do that there. Go back to layer four and delete. Okay, so do that again one more time. I think I'm doing this right. Sometimes I forget what the files are. Right, so go down there and uh, do these ones as well. Okay, now I want to go to the MU file and press delete. And I'm going to go on the outside, on the MU, and press, nope, that's not the one I need. Was it the pop? Go to MU, press delete. Untick MU, and it's still not, sh ah, there we go. So untick pop. And there you can see that everything has come through. Now, I just want to make sure that everything is through because that there, I don't think needs to be there. Yeah, this is where it gets weird. I mean, I could go to background, but as soon as I get to layer four, it's going to take everything off. Ah, this is where it gets complicated. Okay. So if I get rid of everything, so let's open up MU and go into layer four and then press delete. There we go. And bring up background. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Now everything is showing up. So what I did there was take everything off. Have the pop MA and the MU. If I took away the pop, magic wand on the one of the doors, you can see it highlights a lot of areas. Bring up layer four, click on that and press delete and then tick background. And now we can see everything. Now I don't know if I was meant to do the side destinations. Um, that I'm not 100% sure, but we're about to find out. So I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna save as, and I'm gonna save that as VAS underscore A underscore, um, my bus okay and that's going to be saved in the omzi 2 sdk repaint tool hh doppel templates that's what the one that i made so now i'm going to go to file oh i need to save i need to un open up level uh level layer five because we need that for the logos so i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to save as and i'm going to select BMP and I'm going to hit save. Now always best to wait for this to be 100% and then press OK. And yes, I would like to flatten it. Now at this point you can close this down or you can just press Ctrl Z which will bring it back to the other files. But I'm just going to close it down. So now comes the part where we need the repaint tool. Now, because I've used the pop MA, I'm gonna use the pop repaint file, which is this one here. So I'm gonna go back, repaint tool, 
I'm going to convert. Look enough, it's in the folder, but if not, oops, go to the folder and go inside templates. No, it's not. Before you go inside templates, vas underscore a underscore pop open. Now go in templates and find your BMP file and then press open. Convert this repaint? Yes. Now there's no indication to say that it is done. So what we have to do, easy way, is just put a mouse up to the top corners. When it's repaint, when it's converted, these do not highlight. So that's done. So let's close that and hopefully, fingers crossed, inside this folder, inside templates, we'll have two paintnet images. So we have the BMP file, we have paintnet image, and also look at the time as well. So this is 1751, and this one was made at 1750. So if you open up the 1751 with PaintNet, it should say no. Yep, it says no, it can't repaint it. Uh, repaint it, it can't open it, which is fantastic. So I'm going to cut that, go back to the main folder that I made, hh underscore doppel, and stick it in here. Paste. Now the reason why I've kept the texture open, not only because I need to put that file inside this folder, but I need to change the name. So right click your repaint and rename to GOVB, enter. Now, again, I have the default one, this one copied into the default folder. So go into my repaints folder, edit, copy, and at the side, right click and paste, and then get rid of that one. That is now set up to open OMSI and test out the repaint, which I will do right now. Okay, so here we are in OMSI in Grundorf because it's quickest to load up. So I have not checked yet, so we're gonna find out if this works. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep trying something. I don't know. This should work though. It, it should work. Because I have done it once to see if it worked, and then I did this video again, but the repaint tool wouldn't make it. So I scrapped that. So this is the remake. So yeah, let's hope this works. So we need to go into the Van Hull folder. Yes, Van Hull. Now this is the 2007 version. So as soon as I click the type, the appearance should say G-O-V-B. It should. So let's find out. My is a bit slow. It's weird. Yeah, so A330 2007. It should say the parents here should be GOVB. GOVB. And it should show up orange and grey. It does. And let's go to OK. OK. I find sometimes it shows up in the preview window, but when you put it into game, that's where things look like they've messed up. And there we are, it's repainted, but is that it? Something looks off to me. Especially around here. I am not entirely sure, but the repaint works. Um, obviously that's for you to customize everything and get it all looking superb. But yeah, it just looks a bit... No idea. No 
unless that's I don't know, but that's how um, you can repaint it. Now, regarding the doors, so if I put, just put the electrics on, uh, let's get rid of that. And if I just open the doors, um, I don't know how to change them because there's no actual CTI file. And then the roof is on the template, but I think this is on the template as well. My main concentration was obviously the body. Now, I'm sure these are meant to be black, so I have messed up somewhere. Because that just looks awful. So let me exit this and find out where the blacks are. So if I bring up the texture folder as well, if I go back into here and open this one. Hmm. I think. If I see, I can see the colors. If I delete them. Ah, yes, I think I know why. Because it's painted over everything. So if I bring that back. No, that's not the one. Ah. Yeah, then I'm not entirely. <laughs> oh, try to laugh at the same time. Yeah, then I'm not entirely sure what I've done. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But that's what you can play around with and fix my error. This was like. How the heck do I paint this boss? Um, but you saw that it worked, so that's a good thing. Um, but have a play around and see. Now, the reason why, of course, uh, because of that, I, I've created this GOVB My Repaints because what you can do is open this one up again. You can get the file save as and then call it whatever you want so connection and then you can just go ahead and just repaint the orange so if i go to green um i just more for that green and then just do that i can just repaint over the orange So I'll do another repaint, and it's the same process. Um, save it as BMP. Um, obviously, save this folder, and every time you want to use it, just swap the files over, and it will change. Other than that, I don't know any other ways I can change, like the door type or anything like that. That is beyond me. I've been looking and looking and looking, and I have no idea. But I hope it helps on how to repaint the 2007 version. Whereas this one is just the 2005. I mean, you could even put this one, this template, copy that into here and then stick it over on the GOV. Um, but I'm going to rename that back to my boss so when i do put another one in and i change the name of that one it won't coincide with this one so you can have a folder of loader repaints here for that 2007 version 
Well, that's it for me. Um, again, I don't know where I messed up on a Windows, but have a play around, see what you come up with. And if I'm in Discord, fantastic. I'd love to see pictures that you've done of it. Um, if not, Fellows Film. Or, I don't know, hit me up somewhere on YouTube with a link so I can see what repaints you have created with it for the 2007 version. But that's enough from me. So until next time, thanks for watching and have fun.